सो हेर वी गो गाइज थ्री टू वन हो माय गुडनेस टेक अ लुक एट दैट बेंच मार्क हो दैट वॉज अमेजिंग हेलो एवरी वन टू एंड दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कम्पेयर डब्ल्यू एस ए वर्सेज एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो रनिंग एंड्रॉइड एप्स विच वन रन एंड्रॉइड एप्स बेटर वी विल ऑल्सो टेस्ट द गेमिंग बेंच मार्क एंड ओवरऑल यूजेबिलिटी सो विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो लेट स्टार्ट बाई इंस्टॉलिंग डब्ल्यू एस ए ऑन योर विंडोज इलेवन ऑब्वियसली विद प्ले स्टोर because we are going to install few apps from play store to test it out now if you haven't set up the g apps onto your wsa package you are truly missing the google play store experience i have did a in depth video on how to run google play store on your wsa please check that out right over here anyways we will quickly check it out how we can install g apps in your wsa i have given link to the wsa package in the description below download and extract all the files onto your system and today we are going to use the old method this is without the magisk now open up the folder that we have extracted copy the folder path and before we move forward we need to go into the developer settings and we need to turn on the developer mode okay so let's move forward and install the wsa so we will open up from the start menu powershell make sure to run as admin now you need to type cd then you need to right click your mouse button in order to paste your folder address then we need to copy one command given in the description below this is add dash appx package then space dash register space dot slash app manifest dot xml don't worry i have given this command in the description below and once you enter it boom you can see wsa is successfully installed whoa that's how easy it is uh, now let me show you how you can install android studio so again head over to the android studio page download android studio from there and this one is just about under a gigabyte so let this download and we will get back right into the i button you can check out all the detailed videos for both of the android studio as well as wsa okay so once the download is complete just open it up and while the installation make sure this android virtual device is checked then you can move on to the next step uh well i have to say android studio takes a little bit more time to install and since i'm using amd processor i got this error so i need to install this hypervisor driver for amd processors to install the driver i have followed the link and here it is and before we install the driver your cpu should have virtualization extension and bios has not disabled that extension or so hyper v must be disabled so just click on the link then you got this files and you need to extract this and then you can click on the silent install batch file so once that is installed you can see my android studio is up and running but nevertheless i did a quick little restart and then we can proceed further okay so at this point we successfully installed android studio as well as wsa first we will start with android studio so here go into the more actions then avd manager then you can create virtual device now here you will have a bunch of options what device you should get devices vary according to their resolution dpi and many more things now here you'll get bunch of android devices and with different resolutions and many more things make sure you select the one with a play store icon other versions do not have play store installed in them so finally scrolling through the list i settled upon pixel 4 with play store and click on next then here we are going to choose android 11 then download the sdk so this one is android r So let this download and we'll get back. So it is successfully installed. So let's quickly set it up a device. So going to Android R then click on next and then we can set it up as a portrait or landscape. I'll go with the portrait then graphics is automatic and this is the advantage of Android Studio. You can utilize your graphics then show advanced settings and here you can set like all the details settings. You can set how much RAM you want it to give it to this one. also you can set your storage and many more options but i want to tweak too much over here now the thing is i was kind of a disappointed by not seeing the hardware acceleration on my graphics so i will try out all the images and get back to you once i found the image which support hardware acceleration okay so i found it uh, create a virtual device then select the pixel excel the first one then here you can go for x86 images and this one is really important you can select this android 11 with google apis and this one clearly supports the hardware acceleration you can see in the graphics we got software as well as hardware acceleration now in the end if hardware acceleration is much faster than 
all this hassle should be worth installing android studio then we are going to give it a little bit of more ram internal storage and then finish it up so let's boot it up our device by clicking this play button and you can see we got our device up and running let's click on the power button to boot up the device so i have downloaded and to do benchmark and install it i ran the test for a solid 15 to 20 minutes but and to do benchmark didn't work so then i installed geekbench 5 and this time we got some solid results all the tests i'm running are without obs so you can trust the benchmark results so single core is 714 and multi core is 1180 and right now i'm running it on to ryzen 3 2200g and this is the best i can do and watch this video till then we are going to do a gaming benchmark side by side and this is all the detailed benchmark performance okay so let's move on to wsa and is wsa better than android studio let's see so i installed the geekbench 5 benchmark and wow let me tell you guys this one is really faster i can already feel that and the score is even better Single core is 746 and multi core is 2167. Oh my goodness. And the usability in WSA is really amazing. So clearly I'm expecting some decent gaming results out of this WSA. Talking about my system, I'm using Ryzen 3 2200G and it's utilizing one processor, four cores, which is really great. And here you got four gigs of RAM and you can see all the detailed scores. Now taking a look at the benchmark scores side by side, you can truly see the difference. In the single core, the Android Studio has got 714, whereas WSA got 746. Multi-core is where the WSA truly shines. Here WSA is scoring 2167, whereas Android Studio is 1180, about half the score. All the tests are using same hardware and I have done this test sequentially so that it won't affect each other. Still you can see side by side WSA is clearly outperforming the Android Studio. And talking about all the detailed scores side by side, I was truly blown away by the WSA scores. But even more mind blowing is the next thing. Benchmark scores are just the numbers. Here I tested Subway Surfers onto both of them and I was quite shocked with the results. In Android Studio, I was able to control the Subway Surfers without any problem. But in WSA, I can't even able to control the game. At least for the Subway Surfer, it's not working. And strange enough, I can able to control the UI of the game but not the game itself. So if the game runs in your WSA, obviously you should go for it, otherwise Android Studio is a stable solution. What about key mapping? Well, this is the reason why people don't use Android Studio as their gaming setup. Well then looks like Bluestacks might be the solution for gaming. If you want to see the benchmark comparison between WSA and Bluestacks, do let me know in the comments down below. This video took quite a lot of effort so make sure to hit that like, subscribe to our channel and do check out my other videos and I'll see you in the next one.